Good morning, everybody. This will be a test run because I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It's going to be light enough. I'm currently at Depot Bay. Well, actually, I'm in Boiler Bay State Park. Kind of, it's like a, basically a parking lot next to a bunch of rocks in the ocean. It's beautiful. And um, can't be here. Shh. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. So Depot Bay is just south of where I'm at and that's really famous for these whales that live here full time and they swim around. Last time I was here, I was blessed to just hang out for a couple, three or four days and then just watch whales. That's beautiful. There's a restroom here. It's, it's beautiful. There's like, I mean, literally I could walk over this hill and there's a, a cute little town, Depot Bay, all these little shops and stuff and, you know, it's nice. It's the coast of Oregon, but I'm in the middle of a storm right now. Wind's blowing, it's raining, the sea is just churning, it's beautiful, it's awesome. But I want to talk about two things. Today I'm going to do another video. Um, I said I was going to do a video on Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And I will put that one out later. This one is going to be about, about Agenda 21. And it's very important. <clears throat> and it's very, very sneaky. I mean, the Agenda 21 is a mixture of depopulization and total control of the planet. The idea, the concept of Agenda 21 is to limit your access to the globe. Only elites will be going to Bora Bora. Only elites will be sitting on the beaches of, um, you know, uh, Rio de Janeiro, unless you're actually one of the slaves that lives there. This is the idea. They want to keep people in the big populated dense areas like LA, San Francisco, you know, New York City. Keep the people in the dense populated areas and limit their access to any national parks, any rural areas, unless you're a slave farmer. This is exactly what their program is going to be about. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's subtle, you know, of course the pandemic and bullshit and they're trying to do the man, you know, the total control. You know, vaccine passport bullshit. You know, let me show you, see your papers, that kind of crap. You know, making you lose your job if you don't take the shot, that kind of crap. I mean, total bullshit. We all know this. But the point is, is like, for example, when I saw those signs that they posted at my favorite little outcrop that I would camp at, just north of Newport. And it's just basically south of um, Betty Park, whatever that state park. <clears throat> So basically, there's two big signs that they just put up recently. These weren't here last time I was here. Remember this. There was just that dumbass sign that said no no parking here from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m., which is literally dumbass. Four hours, you're not supposed to be there, which is just ridiculous. So this sign's different. These two signs say no camping, no parking overnight, no fires, no just basically you're not supposed to be here. Okay? California, great example when I was going down the coast. No parking anytime, no parking anytime, literally from Northern California, from Sacramento, I mean, sorry, the no parking signs really popped up from San Francisco South, all the rich assholes, liberals that live on the coast in, in from San Francisco South, they don't want, they don't want poor people in their neighborhoods. They like thinking, they like going to their little parties, their little wine spritzers and going, oh my God, I chair, I'm so good with charity, I do watch part, oh my God, those poor people. But I don't want them in my backyard, okay? You know, that kind of shit, right? So you know these motherfuckers are out there. So basically, all these signs that say no parking anytime, that's just the beginning. They don't want you parking there. They don't want you camping there. They don't want you here or there. For example, from the, at least from the early 80s, late 70s, if you're an American, in America, you could go anywhere and camp. I could camp on the beach, no charge. I can camp in the mountains, no charge. There's no tickets, there's no signs saying you can't be there, there's no gated fence, you know, gates saying you can't go down that access road up into the mountains, into that beautiful lake. You know what I mean? Everything's access road and everything's blocked off. Or, yeah, yeah. This is all part of the agenda. Agenda 21 is basically these elites, these pricks, want to basically depopulate the majority of the planet. Georgia Guidestones is a great example of how these people live. They think they're super intelligent. They're they're above. You're both. They look at most human beings as a virus, um, subhuman, pretty much. That low IQ, low vibration for the most part. You know, and, and it's hard to argue with half of the crap that 
you know, I just got out of a situation where I'm dealing with people that all they did was they drank. That was their life was to cope with the bullshit by drinking. And drinking leads to it, it, promiscuity, it leads to fights, it leads to just, you know, you're at, you're not in your right mind. I've talked to people that black out all the time when they're drinking and, you know what I mean? It's just, that's not a positive aspect to live, right? You want to live in a higher vibration, a, a pure life, more, so you can rationalize what you do and you can, you can justify your actions and all those wonderful things. So don't buy into the bullshit, the agenda, and here's the thing. I'm going to tell you right now, Russia is, is bullshit. This is all a shell game. I told you, everybody in the world is we're waking up. It's called the Great Awakening. And the governments are losing control hot in a hot minute, man. They're losing control of the people. The people don't trust their governments. They're actually, they've created a law in America. One of the, one of the reasons why they did, the Homeland Security did this heightened security alert is because of disinformation. They're afraid that the people are going to get disinformation and they're not going to trust their government no more. So they're locking down on people that spread disinformation that they think, well, basically if I say the government sucks, that's disinformation bullshit. That's not, that's my opinion. And if you look at it, they kind of do pretty bad. Uh, like I, I've done a video about pros and cons of, you know, and they're all cons and there are no pro professionals. There's just a bunch of cons. So yeah, um, agenda 21, redo your own research. I tell people, be your, I'm just throwing out knowledge. I'm just throwing out nuggets. Most, a lot of people know about the agenda 21, but a lot of people don't. It's a UN globalist, uh, Bill Berger, trilateral commission, you know, it's bullshit. It's just a bunch of rich cunts trying to dictate what human beings are. And everybody's special, everybody's different. Let, put it this way. My job as somebody who's highly intelligent and highly capable of kicking ass, I'm a big dude. I can, I mean, I'm in my feminine power, so I'm very gentle, I'm a gentle giant, but I can put a foot down, I put a foot in the ass, baby. And not only that, I'm highly intelligent. I could, I could cite words most people wouldn't even understand. I can make sentences put together, and people are like, what the fuck did he just say? You know what I mean? And that actually makes sense. So I'm highly intelligent and I'm a big dude. My job is simple, to protect everybody. As a bigger person, everybody littler than me is under my protection. Everybody with less IQ than me, God bless them, is under my my protection. Not They're not, you know, everybody's different mentally. Everybody's got their little issues and stuff, so nobody's perfect. But if I'm, my, I gotta use my gifts that God gives me for positive, for good, for love, for light. I don't do it to control people. I don't get people to, to love me so they can do what I tell them and I control them and then I can, you know, have my harems and shit. It's a weird crap, right? I'm here for love and light to raise the vibration of the whole planet. So when I tell you that Russia's bullshit, it's a shell game. They're just trying, it's just a globalist. We need a bad guy. Putin, you're on. Here comes Putin. It's all a shell game. Like I said, we're still getting oil from Putin and we're still paying him for the oil. Germany's still getting oil from Putin. They're talking about, ah, we're gonna send bullshit. Germany's still getting oil from, England's still getting oil from Russia. Finland's still getting oil from, all these people are still getting oil from Russia. And they're still paying him as they're talking shit about whatever. You know what I mean? As they're talking shit about, oh, what are they sanctions and all this bullshit and they're isolated. When they're saying this, guess who's getting bank? Putin. How's he getting bank in the oil that he's that they're we're purchasing from him because because Biden decided to shut down the American oil industry. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Instead of having our own industry, we just let's buy from the enemy, make him strong and rich, and so he can go invade more countries. Like I said, it's a, just a fucked up shell game. We're all in it. Hopefully, this video turns out. So don't buy the bullshit. This is Agenda 21. The beginning stages, like I said, be your own detective. Be your own Sherlock Holmes, man. Don't take anybody's word for it. Trust yourself. Love yourself and nobody will deceive you. When you believe in yourself, that little voice is going to say, this guy's full of shit. Do your research. Do your research. Not that I'm full of shit, but you know what I mean? Do your research. That's all I ask. And live in love and light. Love yourself mostly but love others around you be kind the more you show compassion the more you show gratitude for your life and your existence the more the universe and god will bless you
and help you be stronger so you can bless others and make them strong. Okay, let's do this together. We're gonna, we're gonna rise above this, baby. And by the way, I'm shining in the fine feminine. I'm masculine, that is true. And I do have both feminine and masculine traits. But I, I, I vibe in the, in the divine feminine. I'm a, I'm a nurturer, I'm a creator, I'm a lover. And yeah, I don't like putting foot in ass. I'd rather just give you a hug and tell you it's gonna get better. That's what it means to be the divine feminine. And I'm cool with that. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of, I love you. God loves you and the universe is crazy about you. And hopefully this video turns out. It's so stormy out there, you can't really see it, but it's like waves are crashing and it's crazy. Okay, love you, bye.